Hi guys, thanks for joining me. This is my first YouTube video. So today we're gonna to be making a spring bucket list. I have my happy notes and my stickers ready to go. Um, first things first, I'm gonna move all this stuff out of my way and I'm going to actually trace this little bowl I have because I like to make my bucket list look like wreaths. So I start with a circle. Uh, wreaths are just something to me that's something you change out for holidays, you change out for all the seasons, so that's kind of why I think of like bucket lists and wreaths together in a weird way, I guess. I'm just gonna find a perfect spot on my page to get started to trace my circle. I don't want it in exactly in the middle of the page, I kind of move it up just a little bit so where it's kind of more towards the top. And then I make sure both sides have enough room for stickers. And then, now we're gonna get started. I actually am using the Simply Lovely sticker book. I'm gonna use the florals out of it. I like these florals. I like the fact that they're not too cartoony or too realistic. They're kind of like a mix. <clears throat> and I also really like that there are large ones and smaller ones. It kind of helps add more dimension to the project, I guess. And then I just have some scissors and exacto knives off to the side in case I decide I want to cut these down to help fit around the shape some more. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I want to make a starting point. And <clears throat> I'm a little nervous, you guys. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna put this up here. And then I think I'm going to add some of the smaller stickers around it. I really like when they are curved because it makes projects like this a lot more easier and I don't have to cut them down or waste as much of the sticker. Sometimes I like it when the sticker overlaps the circle. It just gives it kind of like a fun look. And sometimes I'll cut it down with my X-Acto knife to where it's only on the outside of the circle. It just really kind of depends. I really liked that big sticker down there. It really kind of balanced everything out. Like, I'm, and you could also go all the way around the circle, which that was my initial plan, was to go all the way around the circle with the flower stickers. But I decided to not do that because I was really liking the way it was as is. And it's really giving me like vintage tea party type of vibes. Uh, that whole book really kind of gives me that vibe. It's really pretty. And which again, we're just looking at some more of the smaller stickers here. And then right after this, I decided that I wanted to leave it like this. I didn't want to cut the stickers. I didn't want to add any more. I liked it exactly how it was. And then after that, I'm going to get my pen and make this the lines that are left exposed. I'm just going to thicken them up a little bit to kind of make them stand out just a little bit more so they don't get as lost in the mix of things. And then I'm going to grab my stencil. Oh, nope, <laughs> we're gonna look for the spring bucket list sticker. I couldn't, I couldn't decide between that one or the one from the original seasonal book that was more like a banner. Both of them actually complemented the colors of these flowers really well. So I just went with the banner one and uh, just kind of hovered it around on the page a little bit until I found where I wanted to put it. And then again repositioning it <laughs> repositioning it and there we go so I kind of like having it offset and kind of overlapping a little bit of the circle and the florals it just kind of gives it a really fun look and now I'm going to get my stencil and we're going to add some bullet points and list some of our spring activities for our bucket list My stencil has been through it. Like I used to use the stencil, stencil all the time for everything, for like everything. So I'm just adding in some squares and then I'm gonna do it again on the other side, make sure everything is all lined up. <clears throat> oh, 
what are some activities that you guys do for spring? Anything special? Um, we typically go to like the zoo or, and then just try to include like more outside activities. Nothing major or anything like that. Just since the weather's feeling nicer, just try to get outside a little more. And that's really about it. But I did include some activities like planting a garden and buying flowers, going to the park, um, hosting a garage sale, things like that. Um, that were inspired from the stickers in the book because uh, I like to do like a major spring cleaning and then have a yard sale kind of at the end of spring just to kind of declutter and get rid of some things and again I'm just writing in all of my activities and here in just a little bit the video actually cuts off because I wasn't prepared but I'm going to put a picture of the end a picture at the end uh, excuse me at the end of the finished page I just wanted to thank you guys for watching so much